Melbourne stud number one, big blue kitten. On by Crimson Lane of Anderson, Indiana, by Shorth Stable Limited Liability Corporation of New Jersey, William Gallagher trains, Peter Wren will drive. Two Miss Nittany, on by Thomas Price, Plumville, Pennsylvania, by Charles Roseski of Indiana, Pennsylvania, Rich Gillock trains with David Hawk. Three Armbro Temple, on by Kalia Stables, Caledon, Ontario, by Wurtzman Price Stables, Suzanne Kerwood trains Tony Kerwood in the bike. Four Day for Night, owned by Al Libfeld, Pickering, Ontario, Marvin Katz and Sam Goldband of, of Toronto, Chuck Sylvester, the trainer, with Mike Lachance. Five Naughty Hall, owned by Jorgen Yard Jr. of Norway, John Johnson trains Will Drive. Six Briggy Hanover, owned by Chuck Sylvester, Lindy Racing Stable, L&L Deviser by Neil Goldman, Chuck Sylvester trains, and John Campbell gets a call. Seven Vivica Hall, owned by Walnut Hall Limited of Lexington, Bob Stewart, the trainer, with Eric Ledford. Eight Echo Hanover. On by Peretti Farms, Inc., by Alan Ritchie, by Irving Liverman of New Jersey, Tom Artandy, the trainer, David Miller up. Nine, Cherished Victory, owned by Brittany Farms of Versailles, Ron Gerfine trains, Andy Miller is in the bike. And number 10, Covent Garden, owned by Armstrong Brothers of Inglewood, Ontario, Jimmy Tactor, the trainer and driver. Post, and the gate is moving. They're often trotting between Phillies. Miss Nittany for the lead. Far outside rushing. There goes Naughty Hall. Out very quickly to his arm road. Temple. Three-way battle for the lead. And also rushing up on the outside. Now fourth. Vivica Hall as that field thunders into the first turn. Trotting with the lead now. Naughty Hall length and a half behind her. Finding cover. Second is arm road. Temple on the outside. Vivica Hall trying to get to the lead. She's third and parked. Racing for Miss Nittany. Five inside her is Big Blue Kitten. Six is Briggy Hanover. Seven following her. Day and night. Racing next on the inside side is Covent Garden on the outside. Racing nine as they head down the back stretch off the quarter is Echo Hanover and trailing that field of trotting fillies. Cherished victory front quarter 28-4. Lead change up front the, uh, soon. Uh, still leading as they drive down the backside. Naughty Hall but now the change because there goes Briggy Hanover as they drive to the half mile mark. Briggy on the outside takes command. Following her here comes day for night. Day for night now makes her move. Briggy Hanover has the lead and on the outside day for night at the half mile mark, 57-4, challenges and leads. Racing third, Naughty Hall. Fourth on the outside, from way back comes Echo Hanover. Five is Armbro Temple, racing six, following cover. And also driving from the back of the pack is Cherished Victory. They head toward three quarters, racing past the draw gate. Day for Night has the lead. Behind her, second, as they reach that juncture and race past it will be Briggy Hanover. And on the outside, still trying to move up, comes Echo Hanover. From way, way back, Cherished to Victory is now fifth on the outside, coming way wide. Once again, here comes Armbro Temple. She's off the inside to the outside and driving. They are at the three quarter, 126 in the lane. Day for night has it her way behind her. Four lengths behind her. On the outside, Naughty Hall finds new life. Here comes Armbro Temple trotting very fast. Echo Hanover tries to hang on as they trot to the wire. Day for night leads the way. And on the outside, a late rush by Covent Garden will carry her home third. Under the wire, second was Armbro Temple. Finishing four, Echo Hanover, five, Briggy Hanover.